James 1 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not. But let him ask in faith, for he that doubteth is like a man who is driven with the sea and tossed to and fro. Let not that man think that he shall receive any anything of the Lord, for a, for a double man is unstable in all his ways. That is in all of that passage is in James 1. For there is no respect of persons with God. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Wherefore, now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Folks, listen. Romans 10 says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Lord's word. Listen, I have seizures sometimes, and the doctor said that I need to stay on a regular sleep schedule. He said I need to get a full eight to nine hours of sleep. Well, listen, at the time I made this, it is 3 a.m., I woke up because I couldn't sleep. I laid in bed for a few minutes trying to go back to sleep. Well, after I tried for, for at least 10 to 15 minutes to go back to sleep, I decided to go ahead, get up, and read my Bible. And, and, um, Folks, I was thinking how day before yesterday I was up, I got up between 1 and 2 a.m. I asked the Lord to not let my phone go dead from the time I woke up until the time my wonderful caregiver with a stumble got here. Well, my iPhone was on, I was using my iPhone from 2 or 3 a.m. until 10 or 10.30 a.m. It did not go charge. It did not go dead, I mean to say. I checked the battery level every now and then. It did not go low a single bit until long after my caregiver, Wita Stumbo, got here. Well, now, like I said, it's 3 a.m. now. I'm getting up. I mean, I got up. And now I am reading my Bible. So Romans 10 says, Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the Lord's word. Matthew 7 says, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Matthew 6 says, If you forgive those that have sinned against you, you will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive them, you won't be forgiven. Folks, listen. Now that you know what happened when I asked the Lord to not let my phone go dead until my caregiver, Wita, got here, if you ask the Lord to not let any device you have go dead until something you, you want to happen happens, he won't let them go dead. But I recommend that you ask him this. Most importantly, when you're using your device to read your Bible. And I recommend that you ask him to not let to not to not let you want to use it for any other reason except to read your Bible and maybe and maybe check the time and make any reminders. I hope this helps you don't don't think, do not thank me. 
there is no need to thank me. And folks, I was thinking on on the day I made this video, I'm wanting to play one of my favorite mobile games, X Plan Mobile. So I suggest if you want to do anything at all with your iPad other than read it, your Bible, I suggest when you're reading your Bible that you ask the Lord to not let your to not let your device go dead until four or six hours after you're done reading the Bible for that day or for that morning, depending on how much you want to read your Bible. I hope, do not thank me if this tip helps you. Folks, you know something I was just thinking. You can also ask the Lord to not let you behave bad, but I recommend doing this after at least one hour of reading the Bible. But even if you only read it for 30 minutes, this is one way that you could definitely, definitely, definitely prevent bad behavior if you read the Bible for at least one hour. Because like I said, Romans 10 says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Lord's word. Don't thank me. Folks, folks, here is one more very, 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 one more very, very, very important reason why you should focus on the Bible as much as you can every day. And here is also, and this is also one more very, very, very important reason why you should ask the Lord to make you love focusing on the, focusing on the Bible for at least one hour every day. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Folks, folks, here is one more way, I mean, here is one more reason why we should ask the Lord to make us want to read the Bible as much as possible, and why we should also ask him to not let our devices go dead until four to six hours after we are done reading the Bible. Chapter 11 And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sendeth forth two of his disciples, and saith unto them, Go your way into the village over against you, and as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a colt tied, whereon never man sat. Loose him, and bring him. And if any man say unto you, why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord hath need of him, and straightway he will send him hither. And they went their way, and found the colt tied by the door without, in a place where two ways met, and they loose him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye, loosing the colt? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees, and strawed them in the way. And they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord! Blessed be the kingdom of our father David, that cometh in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! And Jesus entered into Jerusalem, and into the temple. And when he had looked around about upon all things, and now the eventide was come, he went out unto Bethany with the twelve. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it, and they come to Jerusalem. 
And Jesus went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer? But ye have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him, because all the people was astonished at his doctrine. And when even was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursedst is withered away. And Jesus answering, saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. And they come again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in... Folks, folks, listen. At the time I made this video, I'm supposed to be reading my Bible. And, and right when I was right in the middle of making the last part of, of this of this video, I had another idea to add to this video. And the Lord told me, no, focus on reading the Bible now well folks listen if we ask the Lord to help us concentrate on the Bible he will but I, but I suggest when you ask him to help you concentrate I suggest when you when you ask him to help you concentrate also ask him to not let your device go dead until four to six hours after you're done reading your uh, Bible Especially if your device takes four to six hours to to charge. Hope this helps you. But unless I forget, the video is not done yet. Unless I forget the other idea I had, this video is not done yet. Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. But God hath chosen. Folks, here is, here is one more reason that you should ask the Lord to make you want to read the Bible as much as possible. If you do, that will make time fly by. But, but, here's how to make sure that time will fly by. If we ask the Lord to make time fly by when we read the Bible, He will surely answer that prayer. Because I repeat, Romans 10 says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Lord's word. Don't thank me. Judgeth all things, yet He Himself but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Chapter 3 He shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. Yet so is by fire. 
Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Whether Paul, Lord, and will also raise up us by his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Chapter 7 Folks, as I was reading my Bible, I was just thinking... If there is a game you want to play after you read one or two books of the Bible or if you spend an hour or more reading the Bible, no matter how full the battery level looks to you, especially if you're visually impaired and can't read the battery level because of the small print, here's what I suggest doing. Ask the device that you want to play the game on what, what the battery level is and then if it is around 70% or lower, put it on charge, then do something else for an hour or two, and then, and then, after an hour, after an hour or two, check the battery level, and if it has, if it is at 100%, that is how you can devote time to the Lord, not let the battery level run down, and still play the game you want. I recommend doing this if you forget to ask the Lord to not let the to not let the device go dead. Hope this helps. Don't don't thank me. And unto them for in samples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it? Wherefore, my dearly beloved, that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything, but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we strong? Beareth all things, believeth all things, rejoiceth not in iniquity but rejoiceth in the truth.
beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly. But then, face to face, now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Chapter 14 He hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, for he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead, if the dead rise not at all? Why are they then baptized for the dead, and why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantageth it me, if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness, and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. But some man will say, Folks, folks, here is one more reason why we should read the Bible and ask the Lord to make us want to read the Bible as much as possible. First, John 1 says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, the Lord is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness will was not at all to come at this time, but he will come when he shall have convenient time. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong, let all your things be done with charity. I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of me, Paul, with mine own hand. If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema maranatha. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. Matthew 4 Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then Folks, here is one more reason why you should ask the Lord to make you want to read your Bible. Whenever you need someone for any reason, Especially if it involves something they help you do that you can't do on your own. If, if, if you can't find them at the time you need them, that is a good, 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 good reason to ask the Lord to make you want to spend more time with Him. That way when those times happen, you'll be less, like, you'll be less likely to be, to be mean, rude, or cuss. Hope this helps you. Folks, believe me, if you are short-tempered like me, 
You never, ever, ever, ever know what could what could come up that would make you mad or get on your nerves. That is one very, 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 very important reason why it is best to ask the Lord to make you want to read your Bible as much as you can. Hope this helps. Never thank me. Chapter 7 Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite! First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things, whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate.